Tired of dealing with annoying flies, fruit flies, and gnats in your home? The Zevo Flying Insect Trap is your ultimate solution. Don't wait. Check out the link in the video description now to get your Zevo Flying Insect Trap on Amazon and enjoy a bug-free home today. Aaron Taylor Johnson took a stroll around London with a new addition to his face. The 34-year-old actor, who is a front-runner to play James Bond, has grown himself a luscious beard. Accompanied by his wife Sam Taylor Johnson, Aaron publicly debuted the look while on the way to exercise his democratic rights by voting in the general election. For the occasion, he chose a plain white cotton t-shirt, with denim jeans and a pair of cowboy boots that included a small heel. He didn't risk being caught out by the British weather for the day out in Notting Hill so chose a light suede jacket to complement the attire. The 57-year-old director looked just as stylish as her husband in white jeans, a t-shirt and a black fitted blazer. Back to black director Sam shared a snap from their outing to Instagram, showing a man playing a violin in front of a sign showing them the way to vote. Aaron has been a hot favorite to take on the iconic 007 role after spending years proving his credentials starting with the ultimate coming-of-age film Angus, Thongs, and perfect snogging to the more recent action blockbuster Bullet Train. Since 1962, many actors have become the fictional Secret Service agent in the successful franchise including Sean Connery, Pierce Brosnan, and Sir Roger Moore, but Aaron has the chance to give us something new if he doesn't reach for a razor and he does end up taking on the job. Up until now, we've not had a Bond with such distinctive facial hair for their entire run, Pierce did briefly have a beard in Die Another Day, and maybe it's about time we did. From Luther star Idris Elba to Oscar-winning Irish actor Killian Murphy and Witcher star Henry Cavill, no eligible lead male star has been left untouched by speculation, but in March it was reported that Aaron, who has long been named as the bookie's favorites to be picked for the prestigious part, had been formally offered 007 and was expected to sign the contract imminently. However, this was soon refuted by a production insider who told the BBC there was no truth to the claims. When Aaron was asked by AP if he gets sick of being asked about Bond, he replied, you sick of asking the question? However, Sam was a little more enthusiastic when asked about the rumors by Jonathan Ross on his ITV show, she stated, carry on speculating, he'd be great. Sam, who was previously married to art dealer Jay Jopling for 11 years, and Aaron first met on the set of Nowhere Boy. At the October 2009 premiere, they announced they were engaged. James Bond's most problematic moments from Goldfinger to Skyfall. BBC heartthrob tipped to be the next James Bond after bookie slash odds. James Bond icon Sir Roger Moore's grave vandalist. What James Bond bosses are really looking for from the next 007. Over the years, both Sam and Aaron have defended their large 24-year age gap. He was very intense and absolutely mind made up about us dating, the Back to Black director reportedly told E! News previously, while he said to the Sunday Independent, I'm an old soul and she's a young soul. The couple have two children together, Wilder Ray, born in July 2010, and Romy Hero Johnson, who was born in January 2012. Sam also has two daughters from her previous marriage, making up the rest of their blended family. More, James Bond's most problematic moments from Goldfinger to Skyfall. More, BBC heartthrob tipped to be the next James Bond after bookie slash odds. More, James Bond icon Sir Roger Moore's grave vandalist.